So a 58-year-old grandma of six has just set the new world record for women in how long you hold a plank. How old? 58. What do you think the time frame is? What a is plank. Uh, probably like two days. What? I don't know. She's a really strong grandma. <laughs> What's the longest you have you ever tried to yeah, do plank? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the longest you've ever been able to hold a plank? Hmm. 10 15 minutes, bro. You're a liar. No, when I was a kid, I I had one really low body weight. Um <laughs> I was always able to do a lot of push-ups and I could plank for a long time. But I don't know. I don't have an exact number. I'm just speculating. She did it for 4 hours and 10 minutes. That's a long time. Held a plank. What's the men's? Don't know. Two it's day. it's longer. Two days. <laughs> Do better, women. Am I right? <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. Wow. Juice. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reacts of Corbin. Oh, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to Sports on Patreon. Follow us on the like button. Speaking of men and women, what do you think is the first professional sport in America? That a woman can break through and compete with the men. I've I've always not including kickers. No, I, I'm any sport, any oh. position. No, I'm saying a kicker in the NFL. That would be the my first guess. Okay, because you don't. Ha I mean, you, obviously there is some involved, but you usually don't have to do anything physical with the, everybody else. Yeah, because they can't touch you really. Yeah, um, and women can kick fucking insane amounts uh basketball would be one that i think there are some that like caitlin clark is fucking she can't play in the nba she's well she's the leading scorer of all time in all of college basketball. there are some sports where i just it's it's not gonna happen well, like ufc you're not gonna see men and women fight well obviously not that one i'm yeah. talking about the sport ones not, yeah not no the fighting I, i've heard there's been our, there's been a lot of conversations about can caitlin clark play in the nba the answer is no She's spectacular, but she can't play in the NBA. Anyways, uh, baseball is one pitcher, or I mean, you could do outfielders and, and stuff like that because you're not really. They can run fast and they can catch and they can throw. So um, hitting would be the the most difficult part of that. Obviously. Yeah, but the speed that what, what girls do, for example, in in girls softball, mm -hmm. they. Because even though it's a slower pitch, it's much closer. It's the hand eye, the, the actual hand eye reaction time is a little bit quicker than MLB because hmm. of the closeness of the mound no, to the plate. Think, but anyway, do we bore you spitless before I think this it would reaction? Be NFL kicker. It could the, be. The that, that's a good one. And then uh, also, do you know how much Caitlin Clark, now the first overall pick in the NBA, in WNBA, is making? <laughs> No, I didn't hear that. I know, I know. She, I saw that she was the first in it's the really draft sad. yesterday. It's a four-year contract. Like it's going to be low, $75, right? Seventy-five thousand dollars a year. Tell me your joke. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's not seven hundred and fifty thousand no, a no, year. No, no, no. It's... Which would have been slow no, and no, small. No, 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 no. It's seventy-five. Seventy-five thousand dollars a obviously year. Obviously, she has endorsements, and that's where she's going to make her real money. But wow. Well, fun fact: the W, uh, not that. I, we, the reason is because nobody watches the WNBA. Um, but uh, <laughs> that's really, and it's subsidized by the NBA. Yeah. Um, and so they've actually never turned a profit. Yeah, I know that. WNBA. Yeah, I know that. So that's why it's so low. Um, hopefully that changes because a lot of people love play <sighs> Caitlin Clark. Um, but anyways, you don't care. No, we bored you spitless. If you're still here for the three of you, thanks for sticking it out. Hey, welcome back to our stupid racks of Corbin. Yeah, we did that. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody sports on Patreon. Follow the Twitter account and like button. Today, I got a game. We have a game to play today. Gonna play the game today, today. What's the game? It's, uh, I think it, somebody said it's called the uh, Bollywood Rapid Fire game or something like that. Mm. Tony made this for us. Uh... Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Wait. Nope. Wait. That's not what I wanted. Oh. Is it? What's? I just. I wanted to play it. Um. I just wanted to play it. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll download it here. Right. Quick. 
quite possibly our most boring beginning of any video we've ever Shut done. Um, most uninteresting. No, people love it. Um, present. Okay, here we go. Bollywood rapid fire. Rules. In this quiz, you'll be given various questions to answer. Some of these questions may be tough or even divisive. You are only allowed to pick one single answer for each question. Try to be as honest and rapid as possible. Honest and rapid. Fuck you. That was honest, and it was rapid. Here we go. Round one. Favorite Amir Khan film, PK. Uh, ooh, that's so, we've seen so many. God damn it. Uh, the th uh, Three Idiots was the first one that comes to mind, but I don't even think that's that's the correct answer for me. I would think yours would be Rang de Basanti. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, mine's... We've mine's, seen so many of Amir Khan films. He's, he's a different... Yeah, character. I love them. So many I love. Soundtrack. Ooh. Uh... Probably I I listen to it the most. It's either K three G or um, Kuch Kuch Hota Hai soundtracks. Don't have one. I listen to it all. Veers are that's a good one. That's a great soundtrack. That is a great soundtrack. That would probably be my favorite as yeah. far as overall just score. I don't have any that I listen to on a regular basis, but if I was to pick the soundtrack and score that really accentuated the film for me, it'd be Veers are yeah. That's a good question. Um, Mamoudi's last film is great. Um, my favorite. I don't think Amis would be included in horror. I don't think it qualifies, really. Mamoudi's is definitely up there. Um, What's the one um, with Reka? Um... Boot. Yeah. It's either that or I, ha I have, there's a very, I have a, there's three. That, Stree. Yeah, Stree. And I want to revisit because I loved it when it came out and I might like it even more now is Tumbad. Yep. That's a good one too. I agree. Favorite guilty pleasure movie? <laughs> it might be the one you have right there. <laughs> <laughs> my VK3G, man. I fucking love that movie. Right now, as I sit here, the, my favorite in recent days is still Ram Leela because I love watching Runveer and Deepika falling in love with each other. I feel like that's not a guilty pleasure because it's so good on all levels. <laughs> that's true. I don't feel guilty about that. Yeah. It's still artistically excellent. Yeah. So guilty pleasure... <laughs> so that one's yours? Yeah. Mine's it's DDLJ. Okay. It's gonna be DDLJ. It's the one where I think so much of it is cringe and awful, yeah. but I, I love it. Yeah, it's great. Favorite Rithik Roshan film. Wow. Deborah. Uh, no. For me, it's it, I love Joda Akbar. It's Probably. But the one that I go back to all the time, and I I really introduce to folks. Have you seen it more than once? Yeah, I've seen I've seen Deborah three times. Oh wow! Mine's probably Joda Akbar. I love that film. I do too. But I I'm, I really really like Deborah. But I know I'm forgetting some that I, I really enjoyed too. I mean, technically, you know, it's my favorite. Technically, he's in K3G. You know, it's my favorite Rithik Roshan song right now my. that I'm listening to on a loop every day at the gym, hmm. nonstop. Bang bang. Oh yeah, freaking love that song. We need to watch that movie, by the way. Oh, I love that song. That movie's the uh, recreation of Day and Night with Tom. Cruise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Night and Day. Yeah. So. All right. Favorite Bollywood movie villain. Magumbo. Magumbo. Kushwa. Uh, not even difficult. Favorite Bollywood movie couple? Shah Rukh Khan and Kajal. Not a question. <sighs> Wait. Ranveer and Topeka. No, it's uh, my favorite that I love to watch um, is Shah Rukh Khan, Kajol, and Ronnie McCurgy. <laughs> <laughs> Got to include that in there. Yep. Favorite Ranveer Singh performance? Performance, not film. Okay, then it's probably Padmavat. Um, I, you know, we love most of his performances. My close second after Padmavat 
is the one that nobody liked, but we really liked that was yep. that comedy. Yep. That's my next favorite Runveer performance. Um, well, probably not my next favorite performance, even though I love that film. And I love Ram Leela, obviously. Ram Leela. But Baji Rao was a great performance. Um, yeah, he was his, very good in that. His first film as well, the um, Ban Baji Bharat mm -hmm. is a great one. Yeah, but I'm, you haven't mentioned one that I would not mention, but I was surprised. I thought you'd put toward the top. It's not one of your favorites. Oh, I love it. Yeah? Yeah, I love it. In terms of, we're talking like... His, performances. His performance, it's easily Padmavat. Yeah. Any actor That's what that he's had, most known for, for yeah. his thespianatic muscle. I, I, I don't think yeah. there's... And I want to get to them, because I just want to see... I want to get to but some that people far. say aren't his are his bad films. Yeah. Um, just to see what it is. But even though we like films that people consider his bad films. So. You know what's one of my favorite performances of his as well? Believe it or not, I love this movie. And I rom coms typically don't get the kind of credit that they should get, but Dil de Hak Nadu. Yeah, he's great in that. He's great in that. He's he's great literally in everything that we've seen. Favorite Bollywood comedy film. Ooh. Okay, so there's Stree. There's Padosan's Bollywood. Um, Damn, Padosan's way up there for me. Well, uh, mine's probably Om Shanti Om. Because that film is hilarious. But I know I'm forgetting some, too. Mine's probably Om Shanti Om. There's a special place in my heart because it was the first one we understood was Deli Belly. Yeah, that one's hilarious, too. That's a good one. Like That's that. way up there for me. Yeah, I like that one. Ooh, performance. Wow. Performance? That's difficult. Um, yeah. And there's a bunch we haven't seen. But of the ones we've seen... Oof. I know I'm, I can't even remember them. This is going to be surprising to a lot of you. But it's because I've seen it so much and because it feels like a play and he it really shows you the level of his his listening and his thinking of things before he says them. Um, one of my favorite performances of his is Badla. Yeah, that's a good one. I just him and Tapsy talking is and, and watching him listen, think. He, one of my favorite moments is his, and I want to know if it was improv or not, is when he's drinking the coffee and he just comments off the cuff how good the coffee is. It's such a natural moment. I didn't know if it was... Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Piku comes to mind because that's such a unique yeah. performance for him. He's playing a, like a really old, crippled, pooping, pooping yeah, yeah, yeah. guy. Uh, I like that. Um, obviously, there's his classics, Diwar and Cholet. And yeah, yeah, that, yeah. You know? Um, but I'm going to say Piku. Okay. What Bollywood actor would you like to interview that you haven't already? And there's a shit ton. There's a bunch of them. There's a shit ton. Uh, Shah Rukh Khan. Ranveer. Shahid. Keep going. Um, Rithik. Rithik. <laughs> Amir Khan. Amir Khan. Taboo. Uh, yeah. Priyanka Chopra. Yeah. There's... The Pika Padakon. Ali Abad. Yeah. There's... Yeah. They're endless. It's, it's an endless, um amount the ones that i've been after for the longest time is you know ranveer and Shah Rukh khan yeah but um there's it, it's it's an, yeah. it's an endless it's list. really an endless and not list. just for bollywood for like every and industry. even even others that weren't you know we're saying those because they've been on our minds for a long time but some of the newer names for example like a creedy sonnet is somebody that we yeah, would love, to talk, love to. to talk to creedy. what was the last movie that made you cry all right we watched it last night mm -hmm. uh two nights ago uh, you, you just said movie but we watched with um, Lexi, uh, The Holdovers. She hadn't seen it. Mm. So I actually cried last night. Um, not It was technically a show. But if you're a parent, Bluey. Last episode? I've heard. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually the set. I, like, I got teary the first time. And then I saw a scene on TikTok um that somebody just posted and i watched it again and i started bawling i cried the night before that too watching the crown we're in the oh, middle wow, the we're, crown, we're, huh? we're getting yeah we're getting toward the end of season three it was the episode where um philip is watching the landing on the moon and he wants to talk to the astronauts yeah yeah 
a Bollywood character you would dress up as for Halloween? <laughs> oh, I mean, Magumbo. Uh, There's several. Magumbo would be one. Magumbo would be one. DDLJ, uh, Shah Rukh Khan's DDLJ character would be another. Um, Just because it's an iconic look, Krish. Yeah, Krish. Krish would be a good one. But one I would also love to do going on the total opposite end of the spectrum would be like, what is the, what is Sri Devi's film? Is it Nadini where she does the snake dance? Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be a fun one. Probably Magumbo, though. <laughs> what actor has the best hair? Oh, I mean, in India? Real, you know, well, real, real hair, by the way. Not oh, dang it. Not wig. Because you know who I was going to say. Yeah, real hair. Okay, the best real hair. Uh, at, may, are we talking male No, actor? they just said actor, so. Because Topeka, Topeka has an amazing head of hair. Um, most A lot of Indian actors have really hey, That's why I was going to say, Indian hair? Are you yeah, kidding me? It's, it's just going to be a matter of I personal mean, preference. Shah Rukh Khan has a great head of hair. I'm just going to say him, I guess. Anil does as well. He's a nice head of hair. There are some moments with the fans blowing where Rithik is just freaking Greek godlike. Yeah, yeah. I'm going Rithik Roshan. Rithik. All right. Most quotable Bollywood film. Favorite quote? Magumbo. Yeah. That's, Kush. It's also difficult for us to quote. Yeah. Because it's in Hindi. We don't speak Hindi. So, um, so there's others that are far more iconic, but yeah. we just don't know them because... We don't speak we the language. We only know the English subbed. Right. Um, so probably that. I mean, Cholet's up there for sure. Um, but probably Magumbo. Well, you know what's a uh, um, a very quotable one that's going to uh, be happening a lot is, uh, um, what is it from 12th Fail? Re, um, restart. Restart. Yeah. Yeah, restart. A Bollywood movie that needs a sequel. A Bollywood movie that needs a sequel. That's That's interesting. That's interesting. Um, needs is a very interesting word. I'll tell you what. Now, today, why not? DDLJ. <laughs> Doesn't need a sequel. Come on. Doesn't need a sequel. Come on. No, no that one does not need a sequel. Come on. Just no. bring everybody back together again. There, you. I mean, you might just have a picture here, and it does have sequels. Obviously, there's a two and three crash, but Koimi Gela, the the first of the series that has Jadu in it, that I've told you to watch a billion times. Um, I need Jadu again. I need Jadu in my life. Um, I'm trying to think of stuff that like. Maybe it was dated in terms of some of the technology that it did. That's a remake. Yeah. Versus sequel. Cholet. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. You know what needs a sequel? What? The lunchbox. Mm. But only with earphones so we could bring them back. Well, then you can't. Then you can't do it. I would love a sequel. Just go Rocky or Ronnie with it of K through G. Just bring the, that would work bring too. the entire family back. That would work too. <laughs> a Bollywood film you've rewatched the most. The most? Wow. I I don't I don't do that a lot in terms of just because we have so many new stuff that we have to watch all the time. I honestly don't know. Because there's a bunch that I've watched with other people. But the one I've probably rewatched the most. They're all the ones from the first year. It would only be two or three times, <laughs> I think. I've seen Badla at least six times. I've seen Padmavat maybe eight. Oh, good lord. No, no. I've it's gotta be it's gotta be Padmavat. I think I've seen Padmavat. It's got to be Padma Bud. Wow. Yeah. No, mine would be like two or three times would be the tops I've ever seen. Yeah, and I've rewatched Gully Boy. I've seen Gully Boy at least five or six times. I've seen Ram Leela four or five times. I've seen PK four or five times. 
I've seen Three Idiots at least three times. I think I've seen... It's... RR is not a Bollywood movie, but I've seen that two or three times. Um, I don't... My ADD doesn't allow me to do this often, even with films I love. I've seen English Vinglish three or four times, at least. Yeah. Mine would be probably... Mine's Padma Bhatt. Probably... I've seen Barfy four, three or four times. Ramlila. I think I've seen Ramlila three times. I've seen that a lot. Or Rocky or Ronnie. I think I saw that around three saw times. Saw it once. <laughs> I think I saw that around three times. It's both Ram Gia films. Uh, Piku, I've seen two or three times. Um, Swadesh, I've seen twice. But that most films, I, I don't, even films in Hollywood that I love, I don't watch. I don't rewatch. Really but oh, I do. Well, I do because for me, if I like a film, I see it minimum three times. Because I see it, and then I take other people back or watch it at home with them because I love Like, The Holdovers. I've seen The Holdovers now four times. Five times. I've seen it five times. Wow. Yeah. The most overrated movie director. I'm guessing this is Bollywood. <sighs> overrated. That's mean. I I don't know. I think it would depend on what you're talking about. Yeah. So for example, and I think he'd be the first one to admit this as well. If people if people on the bandwagon were saying this is the best director ever for his artistic excellence and he's up there above Anurag Kashyap and Vishal Bardwaj and they're talking about Karan Johar, that would be overrated. I think I don't think Karin any- Johar is a really good director. I don't think anybody's saying that. No, I, I'm just saying if that was because I can't think of any other example where I would say I I think there's a director. There's directors who's that we overrated like some of their work, right? And there's uh, that we also didn't like some of their work, but that doesn't mean they're overrated. There hasn't been one director that we've encountered where they're just consistently bad, and everybody says they're good. That's never happened. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, I can't answer. Yeah, that. I don't. Your Bollywood man crush. <laughs> There's a few. Yeah. No, it's uh, it's Ranveer. <laughs> well, it's Ranveer. Was that a surprise? It's Ranveer. <laughs> mine's mine's Rithik. Mm. Those eyes. Hey, such such a gorge. Yeah. I I. He's not Ricky Martin. For me. But Rithik's my He's way more attractive Bollywood man Martin. crush. The worst, I I forget them. Yeah, uh, that's oh I can tell you, but I can tell you, in recent memory, the one that I would say that I actually do think is the worst for a lot of reasons. It'll be no surprise. Huh. Animal. Oh yeah. I think it's I think Animal is an absolutely terrible film. <laughs> um, for a lot of reasons. Watch our review. We've seen it's it's so difficult because we've seen films that were just like yeah I did not like that movie at and all. I don't give them brain yes space. I, I don't even remember what they are you know um, yeah because I didn't like like even though some of the songs are really nice like Kahuna no say a, a film has to be for me to remember it as a worst because I don't leave the brain space for it I have to really dislike it. Yeah, I don't remember. But, I mean, didn't enjoy Animal for sure. Um, yeah, no, no, no. There you go. Yeah. Cast an Indian actor to play the following characters. Tony Stark? Uh, I think Shah Rukh Khan. Shah Rukh Khan. Shah Rukh Khan would be a great He'd Tony He'd be Stark. a great Tony Stark. Yeah. Say the sarcasm and yep. the, the look. He Perfect. Great. I think that's a good one. Batman. Rithik comes to mind first. Is he too attractive? Though? Indian actor. Is he too attractive? Um, you know, I think Ren Beer would actually play a really good Batman. He would be. I think Ren Beer would play. Ren Beer Kapoor Batman. would be a good Batman. I think he would play a good Batman. Yeah. Walter White. Ooh, you know, I heard this thing. You know who they originally wanted that turned it down? Who? What's his face? Matthew Broderick. <laughs> 
for Breaking Bad? What a bizarre. <laughs> wow. Oh. I mean, great actor. I love Matthew Broderick, but that's an odd choice. Great actor would be when a, you consider an statement for me. Uh, Matthew Broderick? I love him, but oh. I wouldn't consider him a great actor. I, I think he's a great actor. Um, for Walter White, let's see. So it had to be somewhere around that age. Um, <clears throat> my first would be like Nawaz. Um, Minoj. Minoj. Minoj would play a great Walter he White. He would do a great Walter White. I was leaning Pankaj. Pankaj too. It's somebody in that realm. In that realm. Yeah. I wouldn't be mad at any of those castings. Logan Roy. <laughs> oh, good choice. Uh, Pankaj. Uh, you could, if, you know who would be great um, if he was still alive? Um, Rishi. Yeah. I mean, a really obvious choice right off the bat would be Amitabh Bakchan because his presence would be so strong and it, it would make sense that people are, you know, intimidated by him. Um, um, our dost, our new dost, Vipin. Vipin would make a great... I think he would one. make a really good uh, yeah. uh, Logan Roy as yes, well. Yes, he would. Yeah, any of those I think would be nice. Yep. Hannibal Lecter. Oh, good Lord. Um... Okay, so when he did this, he was in his late 40s. Late 40s. Nawaz is the first one that comes to mind. Anytime there's like a really great media role, he always comes to mind, obviously. I think Anil might be able to do something cool with it, though. Might be too old now, though. You know who would be fun? Huh. Sarabhadeh Vijay. He's not Bollywood. Oh, this had to be Bollywood? Well, Sorry. He's, uh, technically he's acted in says, Bollywood. It says cast an Indian actor. Oh, okay. Then, but the game is a Bollywood game. But he's been in Bollywood films. Okay. So, that's so, it. Yeah. No, I agree. Okay. I think that'd be a cool one. The Terminator. <laughs> um, Tiger. Or Vidyat. John Wall. But... I mean, technically, you could bulk up Salmon, because uh, you know I don't think much of Arnold as an actor, and they didn't. What when I saw I saw this film four years ago for the first time, <laughs> ever. Uh, and what they did with him that was smart, they didn't actually have him act very much. They just had him kind of stand there. Yeah. Um, and so you could just get like an intimidating kind of presence, kind of person, and Salmon can do that. But yeah, I agree. Any of those big action guys, I think, could do it. Um, the one, I think it might be a waste on on it, Barun because. He doesn't have to do a lot of action, really. And it helps. It helps if it's some. I mean, they've they've really got to be big. Yeah, they got to be. Big. And there's nobody in Indian cinema that's oh, that you know, size. Ali Faisal could do it. Or Dost. Yeah. He's he's bulked up, obviously. Yeah. He's superb. Yeah. Any of those. James Bond. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, not Daniel Craig. Just James Bond in general. Shahid comes to mind. Would be a nice um, one. You think it needs to be somebody a little older? Yeah, I think it needs to be in his forties. I think Shahid is in his forties. Um, Runveer would be a good Bond. He's gonna be uh, Dawn, right? Yeah. Um, Runveer right. would make a good James Bond. Shahid or uh, Runveer, I think, would make nice Bonds. Yeah. Catwoman. Okay. Radhika. Topeka. Topeka would make a great one as well. And Priyanka. Mm. I'll let you have that. I'll save her for something else. But I think Topeka, if you're looking for a bigger actress. Creedy would make a good cat She one. would. Um, Topeka and then uh, Radhika, if you don't care about the, the star level. Wolverine. See, I would say Tiger, but I think you need a stronger actor. Oh, maybe uh, John Abraham. Great choice. That's a great choice. John Abraham. Might John be Abraham is a great he choice. He, Terminator. Terminator would have been a good one but, for John but Abraham. But I think John Abraham's a great choice for Wolverine. He's a good actor. He's big. He's massive. Yep. Uh, I think that's a. That's good a one. great choice. John Ooh, Wick. John Wick. Okay. You Shahid. Does this mind. count? Because it's my obvious choice mm -hmm. in recent events. Dev Patel. No, it needs to be Indian. No, like, act, like Indian <sighs> Indian. From acts and Indian movies, I think. 
But I understand. Thank you. Yes. Um, he would so good, that aside, he would be a good choice. I think the a next good choice for John Wick would be Adash Gwarov. Who? Adash Gwarov. Oh, yeah. A right. lesser known face, but people know who he is. You know what I would love? Who could surprise everybody. Just because that's what happened with Keanu. When he came and started doing John Wick, it was like, wow. He's back. That was awesome. Uh, I actually want to make an interesting choice. I think Rajkumar Rao will make a really cool. That's a good, that's a good, John Wick. good call. Cast an Indian actor, play the following characters. Han Solo. Ooh, that's difficult. Um, very few people are Han Solo. Shahid, he's got the he's got the sarcasm. He could pull off that the sarcasm of Han Solo. And we're talking obviously him at that age, obviously of when he was doing it. Yeah, Shahid's a good one. That's what I'm sticking with. Shahid, yeah, let's, Shahid do, let's do Shahid. <laughs> oh, okay. Now again, Rajkumar Rao. Rajkumar could do it. Um... Might be too innocent. Might be too like, yeah, but we've seen him play everything under the sun. Yeah, his, he's got great range. Mm. I'm gonna pick somebody else because I picked Ross Kamar for that other thing. Oh, you know who else could do that? Um, um, our our new dosed AK from uh uh. Berlin and um, oh. the series from uh, Merzipur. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was in, wasn't he also in... Uh, uh, History? No, the other series about Bombay film industry. Anyway, him. I'm um, just looking up uh, Bollywood actors here to see if somebody's... Cheating. I'm missing You're cheating. something. Oh, Ayushman Karana. Oh, that's a good call. Yeah. 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 Ayushman. Let's that's do a good, That's a good call. Ooh, Saul Goodman. Nawaz. Oh. Yeah, Nawaz would make a good, would make it's a good Saul It's not like the Goodman. dark character that, you know, we love Nawaz in, but Nawaz can do anything. Yeah, because he could, he could pull that off. He yeah. could pull that off. Or one of our other dose, Niraj Kabi. Niraj Kabi would be Perfect as Saul Goodman. Yeah. Yeah, let's go Niraj. <laughs> <laughs> Shower Khan and Kajol. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so today's stars? I think Renvir and Topeka. I mean, they're too old now. Think so? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't agree. Jack and Rose are okay. early 20s. Okay, so Ali Abad. Yes, I agree with Alia. And I would say Brent Beer, but he might look too old. Alia can still play really young. Yeah, the, he has to be young. Um, I'd like to see, for both of those roles, I'd like to see one of the kids that was in the Archies. Mm. See what they could do with it. Mm. No. I'm going to go Akshay. No. <laughs> As Rose. <laughs> uh, you could do, uh, if Shahid shaves his face, uh, do Shahid. He's too old. No. You Shahid and Jack. Alia. Thanos. <laughs> okay. I think Anil could uh, uh, kill that. I think um, Ajay Devgan could kill that. You, you might surprise you, but I'd like to see it. No. I know. I know. Sanjay Dot. I was going to say Salman Khan. Yeah, that'd be actually interesting. Though. Yeah. That would be interesting. Either one. No. Sanjay Dutt or think, Salman Khan. I think, I mean, he's the yeah. Bollywood villain right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or the guy that's killing it everywhere, Bobby Dole. But I want to <laughs> save him for something else. Those are all good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, who's really good at comedy? Well, um, Pankaj. Pankaj. Man, it might be too... Um, you know who would be fun to see do that, and I think could pull it off is Akshay Kumar. Yeah, yeah. Let's go Akshay. Yeah, Akshay. I, I want to pick Akshay. 
Ooh. Oh. Okay. So I have a one off the top of my head, and it's KK Menon. Done. Yeah. <laughs> Sign, sealed, delivered. Make the movie. Yeah. KK Menon. That would be an insane casting, right? Boom. You know who else could do it? Mm. Our dosed. Mm. Which one? Atul Kulkarni. Yeah, he definitely could. He could absolutely do that. Yeah. Both, either of them. There's so many that could yeah. that could do it amazingly. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, let's make another Indian office. Uh, <laughs> believe it or not, the first name that came to mind, Amir Khan. Hmm. I was going to pick somebody like um, Pankaj or Nawaz in terms of that I've seen do comedy. Um, I think I think Amir Khan could could convey some of that because you can't play idiocy, the... but also you you idiocy. like him. Yeah. And the rudeness, but you could you still he has a likability factor. It's, it's a, a hard role to pull off. It's a very difficult role. That is a hard role to pull off. And that's why he's That's why Steve Carell was Michael Steve Scott. Carell, yeah. man. He's so amazing. Voldemort. Voldemort. I mean, any of the great actors that we've mentioned could probably do him. I've got a real interesting twist on this for you. Okay. Taboo. <laughs> okay. I, like I want to see Taboo play Voldemort. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Am I missing anybody here that way? Yeah. BJ Ross. My goodness. Good call. BJ Ross. BJ Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Well, nobody, because none of them are white, and I don't yeah. trust any we of the white. No, no you, he can be played by Mark Bennington, and I'll be yeah, played, okay. I'll be, yeah. I'll be played by a puppet, <laughs> Mark, Mark Bennington. Mark I'll Bennington. have Mark play me, and then uh, put put <laughs> Raj Kumar Rao in white face. <laughs> no, on your rug. <laughs> have on your rug. Gosh, play Corbin. <laughs> put him in white face. It's uh, it's, oh, it's that it's, would be so good. It's payback for colonialism. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Thank fun. you. That was a fun game. Yeah, I love doing that. That's a lot of fun. Uh, thank you so much for making that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we do. We always enjoy when you guys make us uh, make us games. Yeah, this was fun. Especially the casting ones. Casting ones are so interesting. Yeah. Um, because and they go on and on. I mean, we we do that just for the heck of it sometimes. And Johnny and I will talk about okay, Indian cast for Game of Thrones. Who are you casting? Ooh. Yeah. Because that's that's the toughest one for that. Is who's who's going to play Dinklage's role? Well, you'd have to find a um, who's going to play Tyrion. A, yeah, a little person. Yeah, uh, if that's the correct way to say it, I always forget. Um, and so there's so few. I mean, we've seen some in Tamil cinema that I think. Uh, yeah, but nobody yeah. who has the no, there hasn't been anybody that's broken no, there's, through. There's well, yeah, not like. Then I think he's the only one little person ever to break through like that not, he is and, but he's not the only talented one he's no it's just there's so few roles, so few roles and he's said many times he's like i'm never gonna play the elf uh or the you know whatever um because he wanted to be known for his work now. i remember the first time i saw him oh yeah everybody most people do and i and i, I remarked i remember turning to the kids and saying that guy's a damn good actor and when he, he came on he yeah. wasn't just there for comedic effect he it was like this guy's good yeah. It was an elf. Um, there's a couple others in comedy that have done it. Like, there's a, a wee man in Jackass. It's one that comes to mind. But he's, Yeah, he's, the, the, like the first the first really well-known little person in Hollywood that was working all the time was Billy Barty mm. back when I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for making the game. If you'd like to make us a game for Bollywood, for any other industry, for any type of game, yes. um, please send it. Yes. Um, to the email in the description of every video, just make sure it's either in slideshow or video format for yes. us. Um, and uh, thank you so much. Let us know what game we should play next. Just.